If you're looking for a fast college degree that can get you really steady, high paying jobs, tech degrees might be the first place you should look. STEM degrees, we've always been taught, and data supports this, are the highest paying bachelor's degrees. And of those STEM degrees, technology degrees are the easiest to accelerate. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the seven fastest tech degrees that you can earn. All of these degrees can be earned in less than 12 months. And I'm talking high school diploma to a full bachelor's degree in less than 12 months. I just had a student today report back to me that he got one of these tech degrees in just five months. Now we'll dive into degrees and the highest paying jobs you can get with each of these degrees. And I'm gonna show you which universities are best if you wanna earn these degrees really, really quickly. Let's start with cybersecurity degrees. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting companies and networks and information from being hacked. And in a cybersecurity degree, you're gonna earn things like network security, penetration testing or ethical hacking, cryptography, incident response and digital forensics, malware analysis, cloud security, cyber law, and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. Now there are a number of jobs you can get with a cybersecurity degree, but let's start with something basic, like a cybersecurity analyst. A base salary for an entry level job would be starting out at something like $85,000 per year, but on the high end making more than $120,000 a year. Now a more advanced job would be something like a cybersecurity engineer, someone who helps design, implement, maintain security systems to protect against cyber threats. Now someone in this position would make somewhere between $110,000 to more than $180,000 per year. My personal favorite, a penetration tester or an ethical hacker. In these types of positions, you basically mimic cyber attacks and try to hack your own systems. Why? So that your company can protect against those types of vulnerabilities. Now this type of position on the low end would make $100,000 per year, on the high end, more than $170,000 per year. The next degree on the list is data analytics. Within a data analytics degree, you're gonna learn things like statistics and probability, data visualization, machine learning and AI, database management. You're even gonna learn how to write code. Now I understand data analytics can sound boring, but it's actually really cool. It can get you jobs like data scientist. These are people who use machine learning or AI and statistics and data analysis to solve business problems. Or something like a data engineer who builds and maintains data pipelines and infrastructure for large scale analytics. Or something like a machine learning engineer or an AI engineer. These are people who create, build and make AI machines even better. Each of these positions start out at 120 plus thousand dollars per year and on the high end can make upwards of a quarter million dollars per year. The next degree on the list is computer science. This is one of the highest paying and most versatile tech degrees. You're gonna learn things like program and software development. You're gonna learn coding languages, algorithms and data structure, AI and machine learning. You're gonna learn cybersecurity, cloud computing, and a whole bunch more. I like to think of computer science degrees as like an engineering degree in the tech world. You're learning to create and build things and solve problems. Jobs you can get with a computer science degree include things like machine learning engineer, AI engineer, software developer, mobile app developer, cloud architect, and so much more. Entry level positions with a computer science degree are at least $100,000 per year, with high end positions making more than a quarter million dollars per year. The next degree on the list is software engineering. This is a degree I recommend if you like to build things and you like to code and create things out of tech. Now, most jobs with a software engineering degree are going to be jobs where you're building and creating things out of software. Things like software engineer, software developer, or software architect. Entry level pay should be more than $100,000 per year with salary potential of more than $200,000, $250,000 per year. The next degree on the list is IT or information technology. Or if you want to go even easier and faster, IT management, which marries both tech and business into one, business degrees are always faster and easier. You're gonna learn things like system administration, configuring routers and firewalls and servers, protecting IT infrastructure or basic cybersecurity stuff. You're gonna learn how to diagnose and fix hardware and software issues. And yes, you'll learn some basic code and web development. Now with IT management degrees or IT degrees, I generally recommend trying to get management position jobs. Something like IT director or on the high end, 
something like a CIO, a chief information officer, or even a CTO, a chief technology officer. Now these high-end positions for big companies can lead to really, really high pay. You can also get lower end jobs that still pay really well, something like IT security analysts, cybersecurity specialist, or IT project manager. These jobs will yield between $100,000 and $200,000 per year. The next degree on the list is network engineering. This is a degree that focuses on designing, securing, and maintaining communication networks. You'll learn things like configuring voice over IP, network troubleshooting, performance optimization, diagnosing connectivity and speed issues, among a number of other things. Network engineering degrees can lead to jobs like network architect, network security engineer, or voice over IP engineer. All of these jobs include salaries in the mid $100,000 per year range. The next degree on the list is UX design or user experience design. Now this is a major where you're learning both business stuff and tech stuff, which generally makes this faster and easier. You'll study how users interact with digital interfaces, front-end development, user research, A-B testing, interaction design, wireframing and prototyping, among a number of other things. Now jobs with a UX design or a user experience design degree include UX engineer, voice UX designer, information architect, product designer. Think of a job position where you're making things like Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant even better. But one of the big keys is choosing the right school. So let me show you some of my favorite schools for accelerating these degrees. Now the school with the largest variety of fully self-paced tech degrees would be Western Governors University. As you can see, they have a number of tech degrees to choose from and every degree on this list is 100% self-paced, so you can go really quickly. The next school on the list is Purdue University Global. If we go into their tech programs, they have a few self-paced programs to choose from. Anything from basic information technology. Now you're gonna to wanna to choose these Excel Track programs because these Excel Track programs are the self-paced programs that you can earn much more quickly. They also have these programs in analytics, cloud computing, and cybersecurity. The next school on the list is University of Massachusetts Global. With this particular school, you're gonna to wanna to choose what are called their MyPath programs or their online self-paced programs. As you can see, they have data analytics, information systems management, IT, data science, or just an IT generalist degree. Next is the University of Wisconsin. UW offers what are called these UW flexible option programs. As you can see here, they have a degree in information science and technology. Now step one is to choose schools that will allow you to earn these degrees fully self-paced with no restrictions on how fast you can graduate. Each of the schools I just showed you will allow you to do that. Step two is to not do things the school's way. Instead of doing homework assignments and reading textbooks and doing group projects and all the stuff we hate about school, you're going to self-study and test out of your classes. This process I call degree hacking. If you'd like to learn my three-step process of degree hacking and how to earn these degrees in months instead of years, I'll leave a link down below in the video description to a full training where I walk you through exactly how to do that. Hope this video has added value to your day. I'll talk to you in the next video.